Let's now do business news. And Finance Minister Mohammed Amin Adam has noted the government will pay bondholders by the end of August at a press conference to give updates on the current state of the economy. He outlined some key interventions the ministry intends to roll out in order to bring the economy back on track. My colleague Echo City brings his highlights from the minister's statement. And uh, okay, my colleague Echo joins me. I'm on phone. Uh, good afternoon. What has the minister been saying at the, uh, as he tries to bring the economy back on its feet? Okay, so uh, thank you very much, Desmond. So I was, I was trying to touch on some of the key uh, items that the minister touched on in order to address the current city depreciation that we are facing in the country. So some of the key things the minister touched on is that uh, the ministry is going to ensure that uh, there is uh, spending is, is being rationed and also they are going to put in place measures to enhance revenue mobilization. He also touched on um, the, the forest exchange reserve, which many at times account for the, the depreciation of the city. So according to the minister, the BOG, uh, there are enough forests in the system at the moment because they are seeing signs of resilience and also recovery because at the moment the BOG uh, reserve that is on forex, uh, they, they, uh, it, it is quite enough. And also, they are they are expecting the disbursement of some 2.23 billion US dollars, which uh, they'll be coming from the World Bank, and also some syndicated uh, some syndicated uh, loans as well as uh, the on uh, sorry on on the syndication as well. So they are expecting this amount of money when the when amount hit into the forex reserve. We we'll see a lot of, uh, uh, I mean, we we'll see a lot of changes which uh, will be we are now experiencing at the moment. So the minister went on to touch on the the domestic that is the debt restructuring that is the internal debt restructuring. So there is a good news for these bondholders. There is a good news for these bondholders where the uh, the ministry has assured the payment of the third coupon, which is due for August, uh, which is due for August. 20, uh, 20, I guess 2023. That is uh, in, in the coming in the, in the coming weeks, where they will be making payment to people whose coupon who, whose coupons are due uh, are due for payment. Okay. So the the minister said the people should be rest assured that they've already done the first and second payments of the coupons, where they paid 600 600 million Ghana cities each for for both two coupons. But, so but, it is something that. They are bent, they are bent. I want to know, sorry, I want to know how much they are being owed. The minister really didn't touch on the, the amount that they are supposed to pay for the for the third for the um, for the for the uh, for the payment of the third coupon actually. Right, he didn't even but but the ministry has also been touching on some key uh, social intervention that they are they intend to roll out in order to to cushion the poor and the needy in the country. So they said that there's going to be uh, the school feeding allocation is going to be increased by 25, some 25 percent, and also allocation to the national health insurance scheme is going to be increased by a little over 40 percent. And the LEAP program is going to receive some kind of I mean, allocation, a double of the current money that they, they, are, they are really having at the moment. So these are some of the key, okay. uh, I mean, uh, things that the ministry has been touching. So the, mini, the minister, the minister, Honourable uh, Mohammed Amin Adam also reiterated the fact that the uh, the ministry has received the, the draft they've received um, a draft approval from the OCCS that is the the um, that is the all right Zako. I would have to leave it here definitely we'll talk about uh, more of that in news night so that's at 7 uh, p.m. that's my colleague Echo Saki beginners have to speed details from the finance minister's meeting talking about the economy and other things that's it for business up next